Okay, so solving differential equations, you might be given something like this, asked to solve the differential equation dy by dx equals 6x squared minus 2x plus 5. So when it says to solve it, what it means is that you need to find an expression for y. So in this case, we're simply going to integrate. And don't forget your plus c at the end. This is referred to as the general solution that I talked about in the last video because it's got this plus c. Um, you might be given some particulars to work out at a certain point, and then you'd be able to give a particular solution. But this one here is just the general solution. So what if we get something like this one? Find the general solution to the differential equation where dy by dx is equal to x over y. Now the problem here is we can't just go ahead and integrate because we've got x and y um, on the right hand side of that equation that um, messes up our integration. So what we do is um, something called separating the variables. So we move the y over to the other side of the equation and then we integrate both sides with respect to um, x. Now the dy by dx integrated with respect to x can just be written as dy. You can think about it like those dx's cancelling each other out. Mathematically speaking that's not really what's happening but it can help you to remember what to do in this um, stage. So then our next level is to in do both of those integrations. So the left hand side we're now integrating with respect to y so we get y squared over 2 and the right hand side is integrated with respect to x so that's x squared over 2 and then don't forget your plus c and so we can multiply everything by 2 and we get y squared equals x squared there's no need to write plus 2c since c is an arbitrary constant if you times it by 2 it's still an arbitrary constant so this here is our general solution to that equation Okay, here we've got something in context. So the gradient of the tangent at each point P of a curve is equal to the square of the gradient of OP, O being the origin. Find the equation of the curve. Now we don't know what this looks like, but we can imagine there's some point P that's on the curve. We don't exactly know what this curve is going to look like until we've worked out the equation of it. But just set out this P here, and then um, it would have a coordinate of X, Y, and this line here would be OP. So let's try to um, figure out what that question is telling us. So the gradient of the tangent, that's dy by dx, is equal to the square of the gradient of OP. So the gradient of OP is the um, change in y over the change in x. So that's y over x in this instance, since we're going from the origin. And we need to square it because that's what it says in the question. So dy by dx is equal to y squared over x squared. Now we can go ahead with doing our separating variables thing. So if we move the y squared over to the left, we get 1 over y squared, and we're left with 1 over x squared on the right. Integrate both sides with respect to x, and you end up with this. So if we go ahead and do those integrations, y to the minus 2 becomes minus y to the minus 1, and we get minus x to the minus 1 on the right-hand side, and then, of course, our plus c. So just rewriting that as a fraction to make it a little easier to see, we get this. Now we want to tidy that up a little bit so that we can have y equals something. Um, you've got to be a bit careful here with your constant. Don't just sort of throw it away as an arbitrary constant. Now that we've done the integration, we need to just carefully um, sort that out. So if we put it all over a common denominator of x, then we'll have minus 1 plus cx is equal uh, over x is equal to minus 1 over y. Uh, now if we get rid of that negative, that looks like this. And we've got to then just flip both sides of those fractions and we get y equals x over 1 minus cx.